What if Earth had the five biggest moons in the solar system? Now that's asking for trouble. <laughs> so, Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto and Titan are the five moons in question. We'll place them in order of mass, so Europa will be the closest and Ganymede the furthest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do this. And this is going to cause chaos. I think the tides on Earth, for a start, would be absolute carnage. And that's if the moons even last long enough. So we'll place Europa first. Let's just pause. Europa, we'll put Io further out. Then we'll go Callisto on the other side of Earth. Titan, again, further away at a further point. And then Ganymede, the largest of them all, at the more furthest point as well. We'll go on the orbital mode so we can actually see everybody. And there it is. So, how long do you think this will last? Um, a week? Let's see. Let's find out. Play. So Earth in the middle. Europa, Io, Callisto, Titan and Ganymede. Let's speed up time. And straight away, within hours already a wobble. Tyson Ganymede are the largest of course. Maybe Europa may be close enough to the Earth to hang on here, but the other moons maybe not so much. Let's go ahead and continue speeding up time a bit more. And as we can see, the wobble is a little more, but maybe having the larger moons further out would maybe make it last longer. If we put Ganymede closer to Earth, I reckon that probably cause more. We will do that experiment after the first one. Got Callisto and Titan already going at it, trying to create a bit of a binary, and that's already caused major instability. It looks like they almost had a collision there. Let's continue speeding up time here. Titan now being slung around further. Callisto's further out than Ganymede, so this is not going to go well. Titan and Ganymede there having a little battle going on as well, the two largest moons. Oh, and there's been a collision between... <laughs> oh, dear. Ganymede and Titan must have touched, but they both are still going, though, so it must have been a quick, a, a brief collision. But Io, Europa still holding in there, but it looks like Callisto, we may lose Callisto. Titan is completely gone now, that's been slung out. It looks like we lost Ganymede, so Callisto's still hanging on in there. Let's go, go a little further out. Callisto holding on in there. Going a few years around the sun at this point, so have we got a stable? Is this stable? Callisto hanging on in there? Potentially. Maybe eventually it will break away, but Io and Europa. An unexpected surprise. Let's go ahead and just remove the particles. Here we go. So, Earth. Europa and Io. Check them out. All three of them. Very impressive. Actually holding on in there. Okay, this time we're in reverse order and straight away within days. Oh dear. Titan. Second moon out. Ganymede the closest. I think that's going to have a major effect. Io looks like we've lost Io. If that breaks too far away, that's going to orbit the sun eventually. If Earth can hold on, I think Io is gone. Let's uh, speed up a bit more. Oh, and they've all... Oh, they all broke away. Just doesn't work. Too many objects. Earth got away unscathed. A very big surprise. But the moons now become planets around the sun, causing uh, major problems for the inner solar system.